straight, straight as an arrow, where before it was all bowing. Look at that, it's all beautifully straight now. And here is the final product, we'll check it out. So, we put our steel bars in, right? That's actually now protecting this wall. So remember the process. We excavated the outside, released the pressure that was pushing against this wall, bowing it, released all that pressure. We waterproofed it down to the weeping tile. So now all the water doesn't come into this concrete block. It goes away from the concrete block into the drainage system. We bore holes to release all the water from this. We put jackhammers in here. We pushed this wall back. So now it's straight straight as an arrow where before it was all bowing look at that it's all beautifully straight now and then to hold everything back we install these steel bars okay every what is that i don't know whatever six feet or something like that right but look at these steel bars let me show you on top these things are bolted down oh my god you probably can't see that i should put some light but these things are bolted down let me put some light come on camera give me some light Sorry guys, there's no light, but I'll do that later. But basically, this thing is bolted onto the ceiling joist with a bracket. There's lag bolts going through it to that metal bar right there. And there's lag bolts on the other side too. You can barely see that, but there it is, right? So this thing is secured to this house. If this moves, the whole house is gonna move. But this ain't moving nowhere because that's the top. But look at the bottom. The bottom, here's your footing. This is the existing footing that this wall is sitting on, right? There's six inches on this side. There's probably a six inches on the other side. So this wall is sitting on that. And this steel bar is now bolted to that footing, right? So this thing ain't going nowhere. This is your foundation of this house with the steel bar attached to the foundation and attached to the top there. Nothing's happening to this wall. They can, it can push, it can push again. But this thing is going to hold it in place, right? And all these bars are going to hold it in place. But here's the beauty. Because we waterproof from the outside, we're not going to have that same problem no more. But this just reinforces what we're doing over here, making it secure. And listen, at the end of the day, all of this is going behind drywall, right? We're going to frame this out. It's going to go behind drywall. The eventual tenants or owners or whoever will never, ever know that this was done. They'll never see that, right? But for my sanity... And what we do out here, when we do construction, we want to do things right. We don't want to have any issues later on, you know, once somebody moves in here or if eventually we sell the house, you know, that the walls are breaking, bowing and cracking in there, right? So we don't want that happening. So let's do something, let's do it right. Even though nobody's ever going to know that we actually did that, unless they take out all the walls and stuff. But you know what it is, Real Satan, Mr. Saf, hit me up, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, send me a message, call me, go to my website or websites and we'll take care of you in your project. All right.